What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video where today, uh, I'm hearing very strange noises. But anyway, I am going to be reviewing today how to get, well, any enchantment to any level to any, anything. So, what you want to do to start yourself off, like, let's say you go on your new world, or maybe you're on a server or something, and you start off new, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm never going to get better. So, all the great people come on and start killing you. And you never get the chance to grow. And then you're given admin privileges or something like that. So then you want to do this. You want to be like, alright, I want to give myself a command block. So to do that, you got to do slash give and then do at P or tab to get your name. And then you want to do the magic stuff. I can't think. Alright, C-O-M-M, -M, click tab. And then it will come up with, if I'm clicking tab, yeah, Minecraft command block. And you have this thing right here, and then pulls up the menu here. Alright, so, let's say I want a diamond sword, because that's the most simple thing ever. So now, you don't even need this. That's just gone. So what we're going to do now is you want to do slash give, and you want to do your name. Tab will not work here, must note that. And then you want to do Minecraft. Yeah, you must type the whole thing, like I said, tab does not work. So you want to do Minecraft, diamond sword. And then you got to do one, zero. And then what you want to do now is you want to do ENCH, which is enchant. Then you want to do, like that, ID. Now, put in any ID you want, but sharpness is 16, comma, LVL, colon, and I want a sharpness 10,000, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's good. I don't know. Uh, you just gotta hope that a diamond sword with sharpness 10,000 is good. But you see, you just gotta put all these brackets and stuff, just as I put them here. You guys can look here, if you need it. There you go. Yeah. Done. Now you wanna grab yourself a button, or any redstone source. And you have yourself something good. Now this is a completely random seed, and it turns out I had that temple over there. Which would be perfect to test out. Aha! You see, you can't make that mistake right there. Get your sharpness, 10,000, diamond sword. Now make sure you have it all correct, because you could easily make that mistake. Now this does 12,507 attack damage, which is only a lot. That's all, not, not too much, just a lot. So I'm going to drink myself some night vision. And we'll go underwater, and this is weird, but alright. I believe I just saw the boss here. Yeah, there he is. He has a lot of health. Now he has none. Easily defeat anything you want. Let's say I want to summon the Ender Dragon. You gotta do such summon Ender Dragon. I don't know if, why you care, but if you ever want to summon the Ender Dragon, it's like that. Alright, yeah, the Ender Dragon's here, dead. Let's say you wanted an efficiency 10,000 diamond shovel, right? You're like, I love shovels, and I need a shovel in my life. So get that shovel in your life. Change the ID. Change that to 32. Then you get efficiency level 10,000 diamond shovel. So now what you want to do is you want to switch to game mode and test it out. Pretty sure it's that that's making all the weird noises. Hey, look, a, a portal. Alright. Ready for this? Now, with this, you might not be able to tell the difference because, uh, on sand and dirt and everything like that, things break extremely quickly no matter what. But, I don't know if you guys can see how insanely quick this is. I just made myself the most amazing house ever. And nothing can kill me. That's great. Yeah, one hit anyone you want. I believe the max for this is... There, it doesn't say there's a max, but there is a max because uh, if you go too high, it will actually go into negatives. And I have no idea why, but it will. So, better example of this is if I do a pickaxe. And, yeah. Efficiency. I have a pickaxe now. All right. So the pickaxe, normally even with efficiency, you can't one hit every single ore ever that's ever existed. Now I'm going to take a whole ton of fall damage here if I don't grab myself diamond armor. So, 
I'm just gonna grab myself full set. Okay. Now we will switch to game mode. That's not how you spell game mode. And we'll switch to game mode S. Now when you dig down normally with like a normal diamond pickaxe, actually I would like to get a normal diamond pickaxe just to prove it. You don't go as fast as you might think. I mean, it, it, you might go pretty fast, but going billions of miles an hour is not something that's going to come easily. Like, this is pretty fast, and when, like, the difference between this and a wooden pickaxe is unbelievable. But with this... Yeah, that's pretty fast. That's... Yeah, that's, that's really fast. Oh, alright. So, you want... You want to be trollish, and, uh, you don't want to want to hit everything. That's, that's like, it's not something that's happening. So what you want to do is you want to change your diamond pickaxe to a diamond hoe. And then you have yourself the efficiency diamond hoe. But that's not how you're going to troll people. Why would you troll people with that? We want to do with that. You want to change the ID to 20. That will give you fire aspect 10,000 diamond hoe. Now, why might Fire Aspect be good? I don't know. This hoe does one damage. But the fire never burns out. Any mob that can burn will die if you hit them. That creeper will not stop burning. He just will not. Maybe, maybe a zombie. Put it under the tree. Like daylight is, a, I know it's like daylight all over again, Mr. Zombie. You can never escape the death. Now, what is a lot of health? You can burn. There is no whole lot. I'm not gonna lie. But what you can do is you can summon a giant, which has a hundred health, right? He will not burn in daylight, but he can burn. Now, that's 100 health there that has to go down. 99, actually, because I did one damage with this. But he has to go down. 99 hearts. To escape the fire. Can he do it? No. Alright, but one more thing I want to do. Yeah, he's, he's still burning. Don't worry, he, he just takes some time. So, I don't want to seem too overpowered here. I'll just change this to iron, right? And I'm going to change my ID to 35. And he's still burning over there. So. Okay, I still have a hoe. But. <laughs> want to change this to a pickaxe. Now, it's good, it's good that you do this with a uh, command block. And not in your uh, chat. Even though you can do it in your chat. Because it's a lot easier to edit here. But when you get this. It gives you fortune. Now, let's say I want a single. No, I, I'm going to type it. Let's say you want a single diamond ore. Right? Or 64, either one. Alright. So what we want to do is now you want to switch into game mode again. Grab one piece. Hey, Mr. Giant, how you doing? 10,000. Yeah. That, that's, that's how good it is. Yep, my Minecraft is not responding. Minecraft cannot keep up with this many diamonds. And I'm pretty sure you don't have enough chests for this many diamonds. The zombie is still burning. And know that he's not burning in the daylight. <laughs> but I have enough diamonds to make everyone who ever played Minecraft a set of diamond armor. Twice. I don't know. That seems like a reasonable thing. Not even, not even close. But I could make... I don't even know how many sets I can make with this. But if I were to give myself a crafting table or something like that, I could make myself a whole lot of stuff, huh? Like, he's dead, by the way. He, he just, he, he couldn't live. Now, can I clear my inventory again? And we'll see what I get from this. All right. Yeah. About two full inventories of that. Now, other interesting things you could do are, obviously, knockback. Which is something else I want to show. Because who doesn't love a good knock knockback? Blah, blah, blah. And we will change this to... Iron... I don't know. Well, name anything. A stick. I'll just get the greatest stick ever. And the stick will have 
knockback. What knockback do you guys want? Knockback 10,000. As always. Yes. Now, what's so good about knockback 10,000? I don't know. Not too good. We see this creeper right here? No. No, you don't. Now, 10,000 might be a little bit too good, so let's change this to 100. And just, we'll just see how far he goes with 100. Okay. He's still not visible. So let's do 10. And I know 10 is actually really far. But that's not enough. Even though this makes for the most fun Minecraft experience ever. That's not good enough. You need to just... Yeah. Alright. Uh, I would say a good number to do for this is... I don't know. Maybe you could do, like, knock back 50. I, maybe 50 is good. I don't know. I really don't test these things out. <laughs> knock back 50. You still see him fly away. That was great. All right. And then he, he's just gone. Now, let's say you want punch on your bow. This works with bows, too. Power, blah, blah, blah. So you want your bow, and you want your power on your bow. Now, trust me. You really don't want mobs roaming around the world. So you can go ahead and you grab yourself a... Not 1948, man. All right, I'm good. I'm good at life. Alright, so you grab yourself a bow with power, 50. See, not, uh, power 50 isn't enough. You see, what, what am I was that doing? That changes back to 10,000 because 10,000 is a great number. Anyway, so now you spawn a little creeper. You missed your arrow, epically. The creeper's dead in one hit. I know I said one hit before, but as long as you pull your back, as long as you pull back your bow enough just to do this. Well, not that, but if you're like, wah, that's enough to kill. That's enough to kill the Ender Dragon right there. Like, let's say Mr. Ender Dragon wants to come back. So, yeah. He's like, I'm going to destroy your world. And you're like, no, you're not. Because power, ah, oh, it's power 50. Did I not even click the button? There is no button. Ender Dragon, you see what you do? That would be why this wasn't being the most overpowered thing ever. No, all right. All right. Stop it. Uh, now I'm getting a call. This is just great. All right. So now you see I have the 10,000. Dragon Dragon's like, you can't hurt me. And I was like, think again. You see that massive horde of mobs throughout your whole world, and you're like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then they're all dead. So, yeah. It's kind of destroyed now, but, yeah, it will just have to do. Now, what if you wanted punch? Now, this is something I've been wanting to test out forever. But punch is 49, right? And you know how you can use... That's... that's Where'd he even die? Oh. Go ahead. Into the end. Alright. I have the bow with punch. Now, as you know, with bows that have punch, you can switch into survival. If you have, uh... Obviously, if you have full diamond. But if you do, and you want to grab yourself a whole ton of helmets, because I don't... I'm, I'm good at that life. Alright, uh... If you want to grab yourself... I can't live... <laughs> no. So you want to get yourself this, and then you want to switch into survival, because who doesn't want to switch into survival? Now you can hit yourself with the punch bow, and it'll knock you back a lot, but... Oh, thanks for that. That was great. But, yeah, that's, that's a little bit farther than you might normally get hit back. Perhaps, thanks for the mining fatigue, bro. But, normally, I don't know, maybe it's just me. You, you do. You do go a lot, a lot lot shorter distance than what I just went. Now, like, let's say I want to get easy, quick travel over to that island over there, and uh, I'm like, oh, I'm too lazy to walk, so you're like, okay, I'm here, hi, I just traveled that whole distance, one little arrow, and then you're like, you know, I just want to go back. I, you're like, I want to go back, and I don't want to miss my arrows, so I'm like, you're like, and then you're like, ah, I can't do this. <laughs> so you're like, ugh. And then you're like 80 billion tries later, you're like, uh. And then you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm back. All right. And then you take half a heart. But whatever. That's that's okay. Because I need a stack of golden apples now. All right. 
You are out of here. Get out of here, Gunpowder. You don't deserve to live. Alright, now. I'm really naming all the interesting ones. But you could really try it out for yourself. There are a lot of nice ones. If you want a breaking, it's 34. I'm not sure anyone here wants Luck of the Sea. But if you do, then you're in luck. Because I'm about to tell you that 61 is Luck of the Sea. Now, Thorns. Thorns is a great one, too. I mean, you can mess around with this for as long as you'd like. But Thorns. Thorns, that's a good one right there. I believe I still have bow set. Nope, that's not what I need. Alright, I need a... I don't know. Let's just go with the classic leather... Leather... Leather cap. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that'll work. Maybe a cap. I don't know. Do I need helmet? Perhaps I need helmet? I don't know. I've never tried using a heck, cap, so... Okay, I still have this mining fatigue, and it is driving me insane. That's a snowball. Okay, uh... You are going to leave now, Mr. Snowball. And I'm good. Alright. So you have... Thorns. And you're like... Okay, some mob wants to kill me. Or, like, tons of mobs wants to kill me. And... You think... To yourself... I dropped my weapon. How am I supposed to win now? I don't know. Why well, can't I hit him? I, my Minecraft has died. Skelly. Yeah, I think you're dead. And you want to eat yourself an enchanted golden apple? Yay! Woo! Because I'm... I legitimately got all these. Alright. So, massive horde, zombie pigment in the nether. You're out of luck and you're like, oh no. As long as you can tank some hits, you don't need to do any of the work. Oh god, my helmet broke! I wasn't preparing for this! Oh god. Why? Why can't this ever go according to plan? So you look around and you're like, what could the button do now? I mean, how many more interesting things are there? Now we have Depth Strider. If you don't know what Depth Strider is, it makes you walk faster underwater. Now, I haven't tested this out, but I imagine this sh could be pretty cool. Depending on how lucky I am and how much Minecraft wants to cooperate and make this video a a more epic than it already is. The Depth Strider 2 is the max, but when you have Depth Strider 10,000... Can you even tell the difference? If I was on land, compared to this, there really isn't a difference. Now, if you want to go into one of your temples, which I just happen to wander into, and you just want to walk quickly, you don't want to take forever and do stuff. Now, without this, you crawl. With this, you run. Now, there is a good area to see the difference. And with just a respiration, uh, aqua affinity, and like a potion of breathing, underwater breathing, this could be a really, really easy dungeon to conquer. Speaking of that, I am literally running throughout these halls like I normally would throughout this if it was completely dried out. Like with a sponge or something, I'm just going to get a sponge because it's going to help work a lot quicker. But look, that's how I ran like that. Alright, now I need to completely drain this area. Okay. Or, mate, can I not like drain this area? Stop! Yeah, I just don't. Why can't you cooperate with me? I just want to show the difference. Ugh! Why? Why? You know, I gotta break my way out of here. This area is not cooperating. I just bad luck happens when I go near this temple. Bad things. Bad things. Now, I think I've named the most interesting things today. The most interesting ones, anyway, because things like I don't know, infinity. Infinity's not gonna do anything. Or like maybe you wanted lure. Okay? Like, you'll catch fish? I don't know. Maybe maybe you wanted that. I don't know. But all that is on the Minecraft wiki. All their IDs and stuff. But I named all the most interesting ones, in my opinion, today. Protection is zero. So, you can take no damage whatsoever. For example, protection. Easiest one to remember, probably. Zero. Grab yourself some leather boots with protection. 10,000. And then, go ahead, take yourself on, and uh, start fighting some zombie pigmen who 
do a ton of damage. And if you don't move your screen recorder, then uh, you'll be in luck. Yeah. All right. So we'll get sack of zombie pigmen, and we'll bring them in. Okay. Take a lot less damage. You're still gonna kill me. So go away. No, go away. Believe I still. Uh, oh, why? Why is stuff happening? Wait, is this Thorns? No, that's Death Strider. Oh God, I, I should run away. D d oh God, one zombie pigment is too strong for me. Did I happen to drop any other items? I know I dropped a diamond sword in the beginning of the episode. Oh God, I don't think I can survive this. Race me to the end. Oh God, this is really dangerous. Okay, in we go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm in the end, but that was a poor decision. Oh god, I brought a zombie pigment to the end. Why is there a zombie pigment in the end? I don't know. Uh, yeah, everyone, I did hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure to hit the like button, because I always do appreciate it. And as always, if you'd like to see more, make sure you go check out some of my other videos. And all great stuff, so see you next time. Hope you all enjoyed, because I enjoyed watching myself get owned by swarms and swarms of zombie pigment middle of the end. Yeah, it's been great. So, I hope you guys did all enjoy, and I bid you farewell. Actually, I would like to get this crystal. Hello? No, I need a block. Do you guys have a block for me? Oh god, this protection isn't holding up as I thought it would. There's literally no mineable blocks in the nether. Oh! Oh! Ah! Yeah, see you next time, guys. Peace.